design simulation of PV system with battery using bidirectional DGPC converter using NATLAB simulation. So here we have to use some controller, right? PA controller in order to maintain uh, DC voltage here, right? That means here we are going to maintain DC voltage around 24 volt. So here we need to measure that voltage, right? That PV voltage. And then the PV voltage is going to be compared with the, the reference voltage, right? So this is PV voltage, actual PV voltage, that means, sorry, DC bus voltage. So this DC bus voltage is going to be compared with the reference voltage. That means we have to measure this DC bus voltage, right? This one. So this is nothing but DC bus voltage. So this DC bus voltage is going to be compared with the V reference and then both will be subtracted and processed by a PAD controller and then process via video generate. Okay. So here we need to uh, tune this value, right? So already this value is tuned, right? Initially, uh, for example, I'm going to use PAD controller, right? PAD controller, directly I'm going to delete this one. So now, you can see the value, right? Value for PA. I mean, here I am going to use PA controller. So one one. So the value is one one. So now I am going to simulate this model, right? So now I am going to simulate this model. Now we can see a red, this is lower voltage. So this is PV power, right? But here you can see that uh, it's not having some oscillation. But suppose we are using directly, right? So this, this should be uh, tuned, right? So just to go to stop this one. Go to PA controller and then click tune right here right after clicking that one you will get this model right so here you go to plant and then click identify new plant right so after clicking that one you will get this one here you can click get io data and then click simulate data so here you need to specify some detail right here right that means sample time, offset, answer lag, stop time. Okay. So that means the output of a PA controller is duty cycle, right? So we need to fix the duty cycle. So initially I'm going to fix duty cycle equal to 0 0.1 that is offset. And then I'm going to simulate for a, a nearly 0.5 seconds with the answer lag 0.25. Or else you can take point fair, right? Full time also. Okay, stop time is one time, one second. And then I'm going to change the amplitude is again point two. So we to fix point two. Okay. So here you can see the variation, right? So this is the input for that that mean output from that PED controller. Point one and the point three. So for this data, we got to submit the simulate the model so here we have to collect the data so here we can collect the data the data will be available here right so this is identified data so for that <coughs> we are going to simulate the model so here we just go to play the button right so you just wait for some time 
the model will be simulated here. So it will simulate for two times, right? In order to gather that data, right? Identification data. Wait, wait for com completing that simulation. Simulating it. After simulation, here you will get the data. Now we can see that the data available here, right? Next, you go to apply and then close this one. So now we, we need to identify the plant based upon this collected data. So, for that, I'm going to go to structure and click uh, under damped bar right here. After that, Come to here auto estimate and click this one. So after that, close this one after completing the auto estimation. So now you can see that. So this is identified data. Next, you have to click apply. Now you can see that. So this is a block uh, performance, and then this is that uh, solid line is the tuned parameter. So now click PAD tuner and then uh, click show parameters. Now we can see that the gain margin is not finite, right? So just you got to adjust the, this uh, response and transient behavior up to you will get uh, Finite gain margin, right? Just you gotta adjust this one. Now you can see that you will get finite gain margin, right? So now you can stop tuning the parameter. Okay, next you gotta apply. So next you gotta apply this one. So now also you can see that go to infinity like so slightly adjust this one okay okay now apply this one update the block so next simulate the model So now we can see that 
the output voltage load voltage maintained at 24 volt right so you can uh, adjust uh, adjust this value in order to get your actual response right So you can stop this one so you can adjust slightly right and then update the block and then check the response So now you can uh, then mean you can adjust the parameter and then you can check the system response. Right? So by the way, you can vary the PUD parameter, right? So system is stable only, so no problem. We are getting a result. So, but here you can see that system having uh, having some oscillation, right? So you have you have to take different kind of tuning, right? That means you have to adjust this value up to we are getting the proper result, right? So this is the way of tuning the PAD controller, right? So once again, I will tell you the step. First, you got to open this PAD and click tune, right? Click tune. And then click plant and then click identification, identify new plant and click get io data and click simulate data here you fix offset equal to 0 0.1 and click this edit button here point two so next you want to simulate run simulation this one So simulation will be run, okay. So wait for a uh, simulation completion.
now you, you will get this data right collected data so next you get to apply and close this one, right so next go to structure and then click add a damned bar and then go to auto estimate click auto estimate so after completing that one close this one apply so now go to PED tuner and click show parameters so now you can adjust here right you can adjust the this parameter okay and then you can vary the response you can click this one uh, here we can add some body plot also body plot for reference tracking you can adjust this one So by changing this one, you will get a different kind of response, right? And then you can apply that response and check the response of your actual system. So update the block here and then check the response here. Play the simulation. check the response okay so by this way you can So by this way you can tune the PAD controller program. Thank you.